Hello Neil. This is my setup for grinding and mills now and um, drill bits. So uh, I have had my go at some tests and at least runs on on grinding normal bits to uh, to both the 118 uh, angle and uh, for harder materials 135 to 140 with the four facet method replacing the normal shape with if you can see some faceting instead my setup is uh, on this run body copy of a decal miller uh, grinder with the double heads wind in here this for setting the the infeed so to speak uh, the dead stop here and then the different, uh, as same as, as the Chinese one for setting the different angles. I have used on this particular setup as a demonstration for you the normal angle 118. Just marked it here because my eyes are getting worse. So if I turn it around, you may see what's on the other side there. There's another scale here where you can set the The secondary and primary primary relief angles so I've used 10 degrees or shall use for, for primary and uh, something like 25 to 30 I think I'm 25 now for secondary relief okay and then it's just a matter of positioning the head correctly with the correct amount of um, Body. You need to have some some grip length here. What is important is, of course, when you have this head, like you can uh, adjust 180 degrees, that you start off because I want a uh, a lip to be not shaped like that with uh, with an angle. I want it more or less uh, uh, square, parallel lines. So it the point is that I shall have the the primary uh, relief at the, at the in this uh, set up on the right side so you get the point in the middle and they should be of equal lengths lip lengths and the point should be exactly in the middle then of course the in comparison with the normal ground drill where you have a chisel here that uh, really extrudes this one will uh, point will uh, will uh, cut Better would be also to add a, a third facet here, so you get a split point drill. Then you could have a really uh, uh, even better cutting uh, in the middle. And this is a 140, or I think 135 degree angle, where it should be better on harder materials. Of course all this fuss about four faceting is uh, to get the drill to self-center, Less heat build up to use less pressure when drilling, more precise holes, easy to grind. So I have cheated a little bit, started off with uh, because it takes some minutes to, to grind off. Uh, I started with the secondary relief now, just showing you now how to do this is quite simple. I have a VFT also, my, my grinder, where I can adjust the speed. Very handy, frequency controlled. Okay, using these pair of glasses as uh, safety glasses, so then I can see also. Okay, starting off. found it convenient not to take too much at the time and to adjust the sides first on my um, my scale here so I have it approximately equal let's say now to 40 both at 40 but it should be a visual inspection also 
so I'll take it a little bit more. 45. And yes, this is diamond head. Take it to 50. Okay, looks good. Just lifting up a little bit more. Seemingly good, yes. Okay, then I'll switch off, adjust my primary angle. It was again. Okay, 10 degrees. I tend to, to have this firmly set. Then I have to reset my grinding head a little bit this way and then I can see how far this goes then okay yeah seemingly okay now so then this is a test of my grinding ability really to get this primary relief angle and grinding correctly Then this is at 19. Back it off a little bit. So 19. We're checking. I have my other type. Um. No, it needs some more. I'll do that. What is easy to do is to get the lengths incorrectly or different. That's very easy. So before I take it out I have to, to check that. Should be a point there in the middle. No, seems like one of them is unequal. I think I've made a mistake in this secondary relief. We'll try anyway. As you see, it takes some time, but it could be done very accurately. Just have a go at my measurements here. To the point. Maybe I should measure the cutting point. Okay, five and a half. Yes. 
Okay, that's it for now. Then I will go over to my my uh, drill press.